Well, hello there and welcome back to my hooch. We've got a lot to cover tonight. Um, this is just going to be another weekly update. And I want to talk to you guys about the Mint family, mainly because I've been getting a lot of questions on the street about pinching things back. And honestly, these are my most aggressive growers right now, and they're the ones that get pinched back the fastest. Now, the short answer to this is that it gets bushier. And unfortunately, I don't have... A sage plant to show you guys that hasn't been pinched out but look at how many shoots are growing off of the top of that now if i would have left that unpinched what would have it'd probably be about this tall but it only have about half the leaf growth on it admittedly in this stage of their growth you're more worried about actually growing a good root ball on these things and so that's why i've got them in these larger pots um and we can actually check this sage right now and see if it's fixing to get pot bound which it's not. I'm looking at the roots and getting dirt all over my notebook. Um, they're all nice white and they're not swirling yet. So this sage is about 75 days old and it's still not pot bound yet. And that's because we chose the right size pots right off the bat. Now here we have two examples of my best celosia, and it is just not ready to cut yet. It's got three growth nodes on it, so I guess I probably could get away with taking off that top node, and they'll probably be all right, but honestly, that's more than likely going to stress the plant more than anything. We have to keep in mind that different plant families exhibit different traits, and off the top of my head, celosia is part of the amaranth family, and this stuff, it takes a longer cutting. It takes something about this long in order to A, sustain life in this root, and B, if you want to take this top cutting and actually root it, it's going to need the same amount of life, only minus its root ball. Just to give one of the stars of the show a little bit of face time here, this is one of my example coleus plants, and it has been pinched out, mainly because, I'll be honest, I caught this on a night that I just did not have time to show you guys this, but it has been pinched out. You guys can't see it because of b -b -b budget cuts around here. I don't have a good enough camera yet, but we'll, we'll work on that. It does have growth nodes coming out in here and in here. It's just, yeah, I'd be surprised if you guys would be able to see it. All right, everybody, it's time for the main attraction. I'm going to actually start out first by cleaning my pruning shears because it is a good habit to get into. Um... I'm going to show you guys how to not only prune this for growth, but how to propagate it as well. So what I've done is I've let my basil actually attain one, two, three, four, and five growth nodes. Now you guys aren't going to be able to see the top one, and that's fine. And you're also not going to be able to see that this basil is actually starting to put offshoots in, the, in these, uh, I call them crotches. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but that's the way I learned. Um... And really, uh, all we do is get our handy dandy pruners. A pair of kitchen shears would work for this. You can use your thumb and, or you can use your thumbnail and your finger. That works too. I don't like it because it tears it instead of giving it a clean cut, which is easier for the plant to actually heal. Now, the next step is to not only enjoy the smell of this. Oh, oh. Uh, we're gonna take these bottom two leaves completely off. And that's because we don't need them. And the fact of the matter is, they're going to be down in the soil, as these two will be, and so I'm actually going to give them a haircut. Oh, making grandma proud here. And we're going to, oh, just about lost it there. We are going to put one more cut down in here to cut this inner node out, because it's just going to die anyway, and we're going to cut this at a 45 degree angle down there. I know it looks like I just brutalized a perfectly good basil plant, but the fact of the matter is what's good for these plants a lot of times is really going to aggravate a lot of you guys in the beginning because it's going to look like you destroyed it. And uh, that's just not the case. Um, but anyway, here I've got my nice dibbled pot that I actually used a toothpick to dibble, and I'm actually going to open that up just a hair. And... We are going to, uh, got to do that again. As our good friend Bob Ross would say, happy little mistakes. And now I just pinch that in. And I'm going to grab my spritzer here to just water it in. 
and we're not here to soak it we're just here to give it a little bit of extra dampness this pot's actually been watered up from the bottom last since last night we'll get more into watering habits later but i'm literally just going to take this and i'm going to set it on my table over here in completely indirect light for a day or two and first off make sure that the cutting actually took and second make sure that i don't stress it by introducing way too much light all right guys well while you listen to me talk about the celosia plant for just a few more seconds i want to remind you hit like hit subscribe tell your friends help me out i could kind of use it right now um, I'm just going to tell you, this is a plumosa type celosia, and therefore it does benefit from being pinched out. It makes a really good cut flower, and that's why I picked it. Now, there is celosia crisata, which is like straight up coxcomb. That stuff, if you pinch it out, you're going to ruin it, okay? And so for those of you that are going to be purchasing plants not from my nursery this year, first off, you're not hurting my feelings, because I'm a plant guy. You really think I'm not going to go spend 20 bucks at Earl May's? <laughs> get out of here um so yeah just do your own concurrent research i want to say thanks to all of you that have been like super supportive and talked to me on the street um you guys are keeping me going with this this has been one of the most positive turns in my life i think that there ever has been um i'm also just for those of you that are so concerned i'm celebrating basically 10 years of getting the hell out of afghanistan and uh i never thought that life would lead to this but uh i'm i'm ready for this i am ready to garden with you guys this year i've got a lot of interesting projects coming up uh, i can't wait so rock on guys like it's gonna be a blast